What's up, everybody? Got a little late start on the vlog today. Didn't really get a chance to do anything earlier today. It's already uh, 6, 6.30, so. Um, but it, uh, it's my, one of my sister's birthdays today, so we uh, went up to, to their place and visited them. Got to see my niece and my nephew and my mom and my dad. And uh, Jackson and Amelia got to play with their cousins, so that's always fun. Bunch of goofballs, I tell you. <laughs> my uh, nephew, he, uh, we, I was kind of teaching him how to play like the telephone game. So you, you know, you whisper something. But I was just playing the two of us, and it, I, at first it didn't start as a telephone game. I just said, "Hey, I'll tell you a secret." You know, you just kind of whisper nonsense, and he's just cracking up. He thinks it's hilarious, and <laughs> uh, you gotta love kids, man. They, they're a good audience, at least. Um, at least for a goofy uncle like me, it's it's uh, it's good to to make the kids laugh, and then of course they're rambunctious laughter makes me laugh and it's just a it's a good time um anyway so we just got we were there for a couple hours visited that was always fun and um just got back home and and uh both the kids crashed they passed out on the car ride home they were pretty tired you know all the rough housing and running around we did so anyways um so that was fun that's what we did today and then um Tonight, probably just kind of keep it low-key. Might go get a massage, man. My back's been pretty tight. I, if I go to a, a, this place here, that's it's only about five minutes away. Um, it's pretty inexpensive, not too bad. They do a real good job. They, they're really, you know, they they go real hard, which I like, you know, because it hurt, kind of hurts at the time, but then after you're all done and you go home, take a shower, man, you feel good. So I don't know, I might go do that. I, I go maybe once a month maybe every other month honestly so i don't go too often but um man, my muscles get tight from i don't know sitting all day office job or or whatever you know it's uh it's nice to go to go you know get that done so um that's one thing you know people are funny that you know they'll it's it's good to kind of invest in yourself um i was gonna talk about this earlier i remember but like you know I know a lot of friends actually that have that are paying like you know for the like the coding boot camps or going to conferences and a lot of times you know of course company your company will pay for that if it's part of your job description but um but i know a lot of friends that are kind of just doing it on their own whether it's learning or whether it's you know going you know obviously like a gym membership is an example of that but kind of just investing in yourself you know paying for things that um, improve your health and well-being, whether it's physical, emotional, mental, you know, growing, learning, all that stuff, kind of, you know, what a big, big thing that I like to promote and kind of what this channel is about, you know, is, is working towards your goals and having goals and writing them down a list and having steps and how to get your goals and working towards those goals every day and working towards, you know, better, better mental health, better physical health, you know, understanding of things and all that. And I think that's one thing that, um, some people may not always um, think about is kind of investing uh, money, you know, making an investment in certain things that will make uh, your, you know, kind of your health better. So, you know, like an extreme example is, you know, obviously if you watched my vlog yesterday, you know, I'm a big fan of uh, LeBron. Uh, you know, ex obviously he's an extreme example, but he, but he spends like what a million dollars a year on on things related to keeping his body in uh, extreme, extreme really well condition, you know, because uh, injuries obviously would be, are a big part of professional sports. And if you can prevent yourself from getting injured, you can have a, a long and healthy career. So obviously that's an extreme example. I get it, both the money and the, and the occupation. But um, anyways, I think it's important to find things to invest in. Another thing that uh, a friend of mine did that I really want to do is, is um, it's called Seattle Float. And basically the idea is, uh, you know, it's kind of like Stranger Things when um, Eleven goes into the pool and she's kind of floating there with all of her senses kind of, um, you know, uh, kind of, uh, you know, darkened to give, to give one certain sense, you know, a heightened sense of, or whatever. I don't know. Maybe I'm giving a terrible description, but 
basically you go into like a real dark chamber and you float, right? That's why it's called Seattle float. So basically like your sense of gravity is kind of um, distorted and it's black. So like, and you know, you, and, and they shut you in a chamber, I think. So like, you can't really hear anything. You can't really see anything. And so what it does is it kind of um, allows your, it like has your brain like think differently and allows you to focus on, on other certain things. And that's really something I've been, uh, I was actually gonna do about a year ago, you know, but then the pandemic. So I don't know if it's opened back up. I haven't really looked into it, but that's, um, that's something that I've been thinking about. Anyways, the, the moral of the story is that don't be afraid to, to um, spend money, you know, thousand bucks say you know save up some money have a side budget where specifically it's for things that you know maybe you want to do a nine-month certificate and learn about something that you didn't know about before you want to take a cooking class or you want to take you, know, you, you want to go get a manicure pedicure massage whatever it is you know go do a spa day i mean these things aren't cheap right and you know doing them once a year doesn't help and so if you can have a regular schedule and budget for it i think it's important to kind of you know, invest in uh, your, your health and your wealth and all that stuff so anyways uh <laughs> i kind of went off on a tangent there started rambling and this kind of became a, one of my old style uh, uh vlogs here so there probably won't be anything else to add to this because we're already at six minutes 30 seconds but anyways hopefully everyone's having a fun saturday the weather turned out to be a little nicer it's supposed to be a little cooler and actually rain but beautiful sunshine here not too many clouds so Everyone have a great Saturday night, and, uh, and uh, we'll talk tomorrow. Peace out.